Good day and welcome back to Lady Rebecca Vintage Sewing. Today I am very excited about the project I'm going to be doing. I've been on a lot of vintage groups on Facebook and Instagram and I've noticed this popular cape cloak from Vogue and as soon as I saw pictures going up with this item I knew I had to sew it like, immediately and I sewed it over Thanksgiving break and because uh, I break meaning I took the week off from work and I just sewed like crazy because I'm like I need this cape for winter it's so pretty so we'll be doing this Vogue it says it's very easy I don't know about that but we'll see and the number is V9288 and so excited for this make so let's sew along with me and I will give you the review of this pattern um, after the video is done. See you then. I'm going to start working on this Vogue cape slash coat. I'm very excited for this. looks super cute. I've seen a few people make it on my vintage group so I'm very excited to make mine. And I have the pattern laid out here. I'm going to cut it. And we'll get started. I have my little helper here. She's a great help. <laughs> Let's give her a try. Here we go. before Thanksgiving. I actually have this week off so I've been sewing like crazy and <clears throat> I'm like super excited for this project. Have you ever had a project and you just can't sleep? This is this project for me. I just couldn't sleep so I'm up early. The sun is just starting to rise <clears throat> and and I'm super excited to start this project. Hopefully I don't wake the sleeping husband. Let's get started for the day. figured out I sewed it on the wrong side, so I have to take it apart. Fun, fun times. Let's fix this and get back on track. It's all sewn and ready to go. I have the lining here that's going to go on next. But for now, I'm going to take a break, get ready for the day, have a little snack, and I'll see you on the next take. Alright, we're back. Uh, one thing I realized through this whole video so far, I forgot to use my mic. So I'm sorry if the audio isn't the best in this video. Alright, so next up we have to do is pressing of the seams and the lining of the cape. So here we go. Right now I'm adding some interfacing to some pieces. I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I do interfacing, I get this little board, ironing board out that I've used multiple times and gotten feasible interfacing all over it. So this is the board I use for only interfacing. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but this is something I do.
that was my soul long on this vintage cape and I'm, I just adore it. I went with the longest version as you can tell and I'm just in love with it. I just want to go out all the time even though we can't go out right now. But uh, every time I go to the grocery store I'm like cape, cape. Um, and this wool is very nice. I love this wool that I got from a local store in Pennsylvania. They do actually ship fabric, so I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out and look at their other wools, or maybe they still have this one. You could probably email them and see if they have this particular um, <coughs> fabric. It reminds me of Slytherin, even though I'm Hufflepuff, and I am going to be so warm this season. And a few things about the make. It was fairly easy. Uh, it does depend on your skill level, obviously, but I did find the instructions easy to understand. There was some turns that I hadn't really had too much knowledge about, like edge stitch. I hadn't heard that term before, so I did Google it and YouTube, you know, YouTube videos, instruction videos are wonderful. So. I figured that out. It was just a term that I hadn't heard, but I have used that stitch before. Just never knew the proper term of it. So, yeah, it was fairly easy. Thank you for joining me here um, in my little vintage nook that I like to call it. It's a tiny little place, but I create wonderful things, I think, anyway. And, yeah, I'm so, so happy with this make it. Anyway, um, happy holiday season, and I hope you enjoy it, but be safe. Uh, think of your loved ones, and yeah, we'll see everyone when things are safe again. And uh, please like and subscribe this video if you want more content like this. If you enjoy what I do, stick around. If not, yeah, I understand I'm new to this, so we'll see what comes of this. And have a great day. I'll see you guys later. There was one more thing I wanted to add about the cape. Uh, if you use wool, make sure you line it. It will be itchy. And around the collar area, I decided to line that with the lining fabric instead of the wool because I am very itchy with wool and it's very irritating. And that has helped with the comfort level a lot. So I highly suggest to line if you choose to use wool. And I also wanted to say I'm very excited about upcoming projects. I'm going to start my first huge project that I've been wanting to do for years. Just never felt confident enough to take on 18th century, so I'm going to give that a try. Don't look for the video for a while because I don't know when I'm going to have time to do it between work and school. But it will be here and there, and I don't know how long it's going to take me. But I will have other projects in the works. I just got two other vintage patterns um, by Annie Adams and other, another creator uh, that I'm excited about. Kind of inspired by Queen's Gambit. Uh, I do, I did like the pinafore that she had so I'm going to be creating something similar to that. Not in the same colors. I have a different plaid that I really like that I got from the fabric shop in near uh, in Pennsylvania locally so yeah I'm excited about the projects I have coming up uh, I hope to see you guys around see you next time bye